Okay. All right. Apparently I'm live. Good, good, good. Hello, everybody watching Retroton. How are you all doing? Hope you enjoyed that amazing fast-paced action that you just saw. Uh, that was incredible to see. Um, and if you're hoping for some more fast-paced action, I'm sorry, but we're gonna play some Game Boy, so it's, it's gonna be a little bit slower than you're used to. So yeah, I'm just doing a uh, small filling section here because of some dropouts. Um, and I thought it would be a good idea to spend an hour just um, letting you people see a few Game Boy speedruns that are super easy to learn. You can do this yourself by just watching even, um, or you can just try it out yourself. You play the game once, you have basically learned the speedrun for it. Because um, a lot of people always ask, hey, what's a good game to start on Game Boy? Usually you will, of course, hear Kirby's Dream Land because that's one of the easiest games to start with. But I'm gonna show you a few different ones and I have an hour to do so. Let's see how many I can get through in that time. Also, I haven't practiced any of these games in years, so stuff can go wrong. But that's all right, because this is a showcase. This is not like me trying to go for a PB or world record. So yeah, let's start off with uh, The Little Mermaid here, which is basically a port of the NES version. So if you've played that before, um, you're gonna be super familiar. I'm gonna start the timer just to check that I've been streaming for an hour, not to time the actual game. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's uh, let's play some Little Mermaids. First things off, you can skip cutscenes. That's always uh, nice to do so. But yeah, if you're familiar with the NES speedrun of this, it's literally the same game, but with a few uh, smaller screens and minor enemies, basically. But uh, besides that, it's basically the same. You grab that shell to open the first chest, so you get the upgrade on your bubble weapon, and then you're good to go as long as you don't die uh, during the rest of the game, basically. That's a hit you shouldn't take, but we took it anyways. So yeah, here we are already at the end of the first stage. Very fast. Grab some of these, probably wait are the best. Again, I haven't practiced these games in years, so I'm a little bit slower than, uh, than you should be in this game, but yeah, there we go. First stage, done. And only four stages to go, we're only one minute in, and I started the timing earlier, so can't really go by that. A good thing to keep in mind with this game is uh, this boss and the next two bosses. Uh, oh, every time I get hit by that, it's alright though. Um, so they're basically RNG based, but I do know that people who have spent more time in this game than me have found a way to manipulate uh, the RNG, so it should be the same every time. So, that makes the speedrun a lot more pleasant to do. Gotta time my shots right, because the iframes are a little bit uh, longer than you would expect. Takes care of one of them, getting some bad spawns on the crabs here. It's alright. Please don't go away. All right, one more hit should do it. And there we go. Stage two done. Still only about two and a half minutes in. Oh. Going fast. You can breathe indeed. That was amazing to see. All right, stage three, Sea of Ice. This is like the heaviest RNG boss in the game. Let's hope I get lucky, because I don't know how to do the manipulation at all, but... Uh, this can take one minute or it can take three minutes. Let's hope for the, for the first one, right? Thank you. 
this is going along swimmingly, at least at the moment, so there's that. Oh, 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 that was my bad. So yeah, like I said, you do not want to die in this game, uh, because you will have to find another upgrade for your bubble weapon, and I have literally no idea where they are in any stage besides the first one, so... Oh! Oh, oh no! Okay, that's one. Can I get two? Alright. So yeah, this is pure RNG, unless you know how to manipulate the fight. Uh, you just have to wait until you get some shells. And again, you need four hits for this boss, so... Silly Walrus ain't, uh, ain't giving us what we need. Just to be safe, I'm gonna wait until he's on the other side. There we go. So yeah, so far it's basically still the same as uh, the NES version. The major difference is in the final stage in Ursula's Castle. And I'll talk about that when we get there. This is the stage I'm the least familiar with after all this time. Oh, oh, that's not... okay. No, never mind that, I just got a little stuck there. Oh. Oh, that... okay. Normally you shouldn't be able to get hit if you have the shell on you, but... Apparently the game taught otherwise there. Alright, end of stage 4. So yeah, this boss, also pure RNG if you're just playing it. Unless you know what to do. I think this is based on the height you enter the screen on, if I remember correctly. So what you want here is two fishes, of course, instead of this. Yep, there, there we go. Now we just have to wait. Oh, wow. Three in a row, that's, uh, that's incredible. Oh, four in a row, can we go for five? Come on. Okay, we didn't go for five doubles at least. So yeah, I don't know if the NES one, you can manipulate the RNG, but on the Game Boy one you can. Just have to ask somebody who's more knowledge about the game than me. All right, final hits, there we go. And now on to Ursula's Castle. So in the NES version, you have to enter, I think, the second door first, or the third door. And then uh, move along through the maze. They made it even easier in this one. Because all you have to do is enter this door if Ariel wants to do it, and you're good to go. Now you cannot mess it up anymore. It's straightforward from here on out. Yeah, Ar Ariel, thank you. Okay, okay. You can get rid of it. Thank you, alright. So entering the door and shooting your bubble are the same button, that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble here, apparently. This room, I don't know why it exists. Well, I missed that shot, for sure. What I like to do is hide around... Oh, she only shot one of them? Alright. Sometimes she tends to not shoot anything at all. There's nothing you can do about it. But again, that went by quickly. So on to the final boss of the game, which is just Ursula again, of course. So 
setting these up so I can use them. Making sure I don't shoot too fast. I think this takes six hits if I remember correctly. Yeah, one more. Bam! And that's a little mermaid for Game Boy. We're still under nine minutes with a late start and some bad RNG and we've already done our first game. And as you could see, there was nothing hard about it either. So yeah, that's one done. Let's move on to another game, which is gonna be even shorter. It's Kung Fu Master. So everybody knows Kung Fu or Spartan X on NES. There's also a Game Boy version, which is a little bit different, but not that much. Thank you for the GG's. Irem indeed. I love Irem games. Most Irem games on Game Boy are excellent. I wouldn't call him a ninja though. So yeah, you don't do much in this game as you can see. I'm gonna wait here a little bit for the first boss to stop doing that. And that's the first boss. Easy peasy. Basically all you do in this game is hold right, sometimes turn around if you have to, do a punch or a kick and move on. Barrel, no barrel. You can also jump over the barrel if you really want to. See if we can make it without them getting me. No, I could not. I was a little late there. Boss number two. We always use the same technique for these first few bosses. We just duck and kick. Maybe you can even duck and punch. Doesn't matter, you just corner them and they can't really do much about it. On to what I think is the hardest boss, at least. And I got a safe state here, in case I mess it up. Um, I've seen that the newer runners of this game don't do it the way I do it. Um, I'm just gonna show you the safety strat, basically. If I would keep getting stuck on enemies, that is. So yeah, if you kill three of these uh, machine gun guys that pop up, you get a bomb, right? So normally you have to fight in there. If you just go over here, it will follow you. Just throw a little bomb there, which failed, like I thought, but he's stuck here now. But now I'm stuck, so that's not really good. Okay, that's why I had a safe state here. So let's try that again. Let's set it up correctly this time. So throw the bomb. Nope, this is this is not going well. Nope, this is not going well. I'm so glad I put a safe state here. I swear it's easy. Throw a bomb. Yeah. Nope, he's in a weird... Okay, there we go. So he gets stuck there. You all good to go. Um, you can just fight him here where he spawns, but you have the two chimneys to worry about. It's not that hard to do it there either, but if you want to do it a little bit more safe, you can use my method for it. Already on to stage four. We're gonna try and ignore this guy. Yep, he's gone. Let's see if I can make the jump glitch here. I did, but I also did a Backwards jump, so I jumped out of it. Um, that thing doesn't save any time, by the way. It's just something cool to do, and it's really easy to pull off if you want to. All right, that guy's gone as well. Here's the boss. We want to get him over to the elevator as fast as possible, because we have to stand on it to actually exit the stage, so... Yeah, there was a little swag jump there. Alright, on to mission 5.
This is all going very well. Here's another one of these guys. Let's see if he wants to cooperate and fall down. He kind of cooperated there. Sometimes he just jumps into the pit immediately. Don't have to worry about him. Uh, there's a possibility to get a bomb from one of those... Uh, okay, I'm stuck in the guy. From these short... Oh, well, there it is. Which you can use for the boss here, if you're lucky. If he falls in there, yep. Yeah. So there's a few ways to take care of this guy. You can push him into those spikes. Uh, if he wants to cooperate, which does a lot of damage, and then you can just keep him there and he dies within a few seconds. Uh, harder to pull off, otherwise he's this exact same boss as the last boss. So. And this is the final stage of the game. We're already at the end. This can go horribly wrong, horribly fast. Because his hit... Yeah, see? There you go, he hit me twice and I'm dead. Yeah, he does a lot of damage, but luckily... It's a short walk to go back. So, there are four categories... I can talk categories for this game, uh, because the game, of course, comes in easy and hard mode. They're virtually the same, but it's like more enemies and you take damage way faster. Uh, But you can also play the Japanese for okay. <laughs> you can also play the Japanese version, and the difference between uh, the international and the Japanese version is that you don't have this stage. You only have this boss fight, but you don't have the walk towards him. Um, so if you want to play an even faster game than four minutes, even though I'm taking more time now, um, you can play the Japanese version. It's even faster. All right, Mr. X, go operate. There we go. And that's Kung Fu Master. That's two games down in, let's say, 15 minutes. Let's just go with 15 minutes. But yeah, that's uh, that's Spartan X or Kung Fu Master for Game Boy. Very easy to learn as well. As you saw, I did not do anything special or crazy glitches or... Uh, or anything like that, so. Very easy to learn. I think my controller disconnected, that's fine. Uh, let's move on with another Irem game, shall we? You might have seen this one being played on uh, Turbo Graphics. Um, this is a horrible port of that game. <laughs> uh, but that does not mean it's a bad speed run, though. So, get ready for some uh, good old Ninja Spirits. Again, a game that you can definitely finish under 8 minutes uh, by the time you're playing it for the second time in your life, so... Basically, all you do in this game is hold right. Basically. And fight some bosses, of course. So I'm picking up a few items here and there. They're not really random, but they're weird. Just pick up whatever you can, basically. Here's our first half boss, I guess. You just stand here. And I'm gonna just gonna show some uh, easy tricks, so... This is not how you do the fight, I think you switch to... Am I high enough? I'm not sure. Okay, I am high enough. So, if you just put one of your clones there, you can easily take him out. He's not even hitting me at all. But I think in the uh, actual speedrun you switch over to the upgraded dynamite sticks and you take him out even faster. This is gonna take a while before he disappears. Because, yeah, it's Game Boy, it's a little bit laggy. Just have to deal with it. Not many people know there's a Game Boy version of this game, and it's virtually the same. It's, it's just the same game, but... I'm gonna see if I... Okay, I got my third, uh, or my second clone, I guess. So we're 
we're good to go. Should actually just be jumping to save some time. This is definitely the the Irem game they put the least effort into out of all of them on Game Boy. But it, I don't know, it, it has something, even though it's it's so crappy. <laughs> I got hit a few times there, which is not that great, but whatever. I don't like this guy, so we just skip him. Which one is this? Oh, yeah, the... this pro I don't know what's wrong with this emulator today, but it's it's acting weird. Anyways, the boss is gone, even though you still see his sprite here. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, this is still a pretty early Game Boy game. It's 92, so... But it was kind of hard to convert, like, this game into a Game Boy game that is actually playable, because, like, the movement and things like that aren't laggy at all. Uh, it's, it's just, like, the, the sprites lag a little bit here and there, but the actual movement of the game is, is pretty smooth, so... But yeah, just to show you how easy and and short, how short this game is, uh, the first time I played this, it took me 10 minutes to beat, and the speed run is like 7 minutes, so yeah, it's, it's just a very smooth, short game that everybody can play. That was almost bad. Okay. Takes care of this boss. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Especially because it's such a very fast-paced uh, game. Like, Bonk is also on Game Boy, of course. But, I mean... There, there's... More effort put into that game to kinda convert it. It's not even a conversion or a port of a game, it's its own thing for sure. But, uh, yeah, there's a huge difference. Anyways, here's the kite. And, and that was the kite. <clears throat> At the start you can choose between Game Boy version and arcade version, and I don't remember what the difference is. I think that you don't have continues, maybe, in the arcade version. I think that's the only difference. But yeah, I'm still on my first live, as you can see. So. And it's not like I'm super avoiding enemies or things like that. I'm just strolling along and hoping for the best, so... I don't know why this boss even exists, because he doesn't do anything. Yes, great colors. I'm playing on emulator just because uh, it was easier to switch between games. Normally I don't, of course. I think he's dead, right? Yeah. Uh, so I only have this green palette going on right now. But yeah, usually I will play on a Super Game Boy 2. Final stage, I only have one hit to take, so I'm gonna take an intentional death here. Because otherwise the uh, 
the final boss is gonna take an hour, so... I might still screw it up, though. Oh, I got hit by that guy? That's dumb. <laughs> I don't want that. Alright, so the final boss will appear here, eventually, if he wants to. Hello? Oh, there he is. I can't see, which is not a good thing. There we go. That's the final boss. One thing to keep in mind, there is a possibility that the game will softlock right here um, after the boss has blown up. If you just remain on this screen forever, the game has softlocked, which sucks because it's right at the end of the game. Uh, but keep that in mind. So I, I think timing is actually when you see this cutscene, just in case, but it might be lasted. I don't remember that much. But yeah, easy enough. Game only came out in Japan, even though it's fully translated in English. Uh, but that's because it was made by a British studio. So I'm not sure why it only came out in Japan. Anyways, we're uh, three games down in under half an hour. Again, super easy game to do, so... Awesome. Let's go to another Japanese-only game. And get ready for some good jams, especially in stage 5. Um, things can go horribly wrong in this game, but I should be well versed enough with the game to get back on track. Uh, but this is a quote-unquote shmup, if you can call it that. Um, and it has the Gradius, or Gradius, whatever you want to pronounce it, uh, style of if you die, it is really hard to... Uh, to get back on track, so... Anyways, let's jump into it. Oh, got some stream lag going on. That's alright. Just let me know if I have to repeat a game or something. I have plenty of time. Anyways, you're this uh, mech robot. The way you move is, if you press A, you hover upwards. And if you keep B pressed, you shoot. Do not press B, keep it pressed. Because if you press B, you will do a desperation attack. Which, uh, which will basically... Oops. Wasn't paying it to... Oh, I was reading the chat real quick. Uh... So yeah, you don't want to do that desperation attack because it costs uh, health. Keep that in mind if you're starting this game. But it's super simple, you stay on the top of the screen, you shoot everything you come across. You pick up the P blocks, which I guess stands for power up. You also pick up the B blocks, no, that's, that's just the P. Uh, I don't know what the B stands for, but it also upgrades your weapon. Should we panic? Hopefully not. Uh, and you also pick up the U, which is uh, a health point, I believe. <clears throat> we do not pick up the L, however, because L stands for loser, and you do not want to be a loser. Not positioned well. That's fine. That's boss number one. You can do this without taking damage. I was just a little bit off. <laughs> I can show you an actual PowerPoint game on Game Boy if you really want to. <laughs> I don't think I have the ROM ready for that, however. Now we have a quote-unquote vertical stage, but it's not an auto-scroller. 
and it's super short, so we're already on the second boss. Yep, don't pick up the loser weapon. All you need is this weapon. There you go, that was the second boss. Um, you saw me position myself, like, right to, to the right of those drop things. Uh, so, you, you don't even get hit. Anyway, stage three. Same deal, you fly up and you just hover there, basically. What, you wanna see the the PowerPoint game? Uh, just look up... Ow, okay. I don't know, because it, it's a Japanese-only game. It's like Wacky Racers for Game Boy. Uh, and that literally plays as a PowerPoint game. So there's the loser weapon. We're not picking that up. It is horrible. All you need is this spread shot or whatever it's called. So yeah, you're fully upgraded halfway through the first stage already. So you don't have to worry about that, you just have to worry about your health, basically. Because um, like I said, if you game over, you restart the stage. Uh, and you don't have anything anymore, which makes it a lot harder. Doable, yes, but definitely harder. Here's another loser weapon. That's the last time we are gonna see it, if I remember correctly. Is it looking better now? Hopefully. Boss number three. And that takes care of him. I could have shot those things coming from the sky, but it's only one damage. We are good. I'm gonna take the next stage a little slower though. So I don't lose too much health. Okay. Careful here. And that's the end of the stage. No, it's battle unit Zeots. It's not a Gundam. But it could be a Gundam. Anyways, that's stage four done. And get your cat gems ready. Because there is a... One of my favorite Game Boy tracks of all time coming up. Here for stage five. Again, just like any other stage, I go up into the sky and stay there. You can stay at the bottom as well, by the way. There, there's virtually no difference between the two. Everything is a Gundam. Yeah, basically. Every big robot is a Gundam. That is just such a jamming song. I don't know where it came from. But goddamn is it good. Whoops. It's only one hit, we're fine. But yeah, each stage has plenty of opportunities to get more health again, except for the two uh, vertical stages, so... First time you're playing this, you kind of want to take it a little bit easier through those, but... Uh, 
these horizontal stages are perfectly fine. Oh no! Is the interwebs dead? It's not me, right? No, I'm fine. I am fine. Alright, final boss. And that's a game which you people may or may not have seen. Yeah, probably not then. <laughs> I'll wait around a bit until we're back up before starting the next game. <clears throat> I'll keep the timer running so we don't cut into anyone else's time though. checking myself as well. <laughs> Seems like we're back, right? Or is my... Because I have a screen on my laptop open. I can see it, at least. Still a slideshow. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Well, at least people can still hear me, right? Which is which is good. Anyways, we've done what four games under 33 minutes, with some hiccups here and there. That just shows how easy it is to get into these games. <laughs> that is fine. This is only a uh, filler block anyway, so we get everything sorted out before our next runners arrive to actually show you some very, very good speed runs. So, yeah, sound is fine. At least you people can still hear me. But I'll wait a little bit. Till we can make sure. That you can actually see the next game. I'll probably only have time for one more game. Sadly due to this, but... I will list you a few games that you can try. I could actually do that now. Because the last one is gonna be a little bit longer. Sorry for the sound now, that's the emulator being weird. Let's see. There's just a lot of games for Game Boy that have speedruns that are under 10 minutes, uh, but not all of them are as easy as the ones that I'm showing off right now. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look at my own profile on this amazing site I'm not gonna mention the name of. Um, let's see, what do I have that is short? So Kung Fu Master, you've seen Felix the Cat for Game Boy, pretty good. That one is pretty good. Uh, it's like around 13 minutes. Showed off Little Mermaid. That's fine. We got Looney Tunes for Game Boy. Also around 13 minutes. Uh, we got Kit Niki for Game Boy. That's actually called Kanso Yanchamaru, which is under 10 minutes. We got Terex, which is under 10 minutes. DuckTales, under 10 minutes. Avenging Spirit. That's a hard one, though. That's a hard one. 
uh, to learn. Once you've learned it, it's, it's not that bad, but that one is under 8 minutes, even. Uh, if you like Marble Madness for NES, there's also a Game Boy version with one less stage. Uh, I think the world record is two minutes or, or something for that right now. Um, that's always a good one. Trip World is a game that everybody knows, of course. It's pretty nice. Mega Man 3 is awesome, but that's not an easy one to learn. Um, let's see, what else? Tailspin for Game Boy. Tailspin for Game Boy, under 9 minutes, I believe, right now. Super easy to learn. Uh, Ram Stoker's Dracula for a Game Boy. Easy mode is 4 minutes or less. Oh. Sadly, we're still having some issues with the internet, I see. Let me give you some other music, though. Because this is gonna get old really fast, isn't it? Uh... Let me see. What I don't have many ROMs on my computer, so I actually don't have much to show. I'll, I'll just play Kid Niki, which you people can't really see until I'm sure we can have some some better runs again. Oh my cat! Is it? Oh, it looks like it's back. Looks like it's back. Is it back? Might be back. I'm looking at the stream myself and it's looking good. Um, all right, so let's show show the last game I wanted to show then, at least. Before I have to stop. Speaking of great music, this is this has great music. So let's play some uh, Fall of the Foot Clan, the first Turtles game for Game Boy. First thing you want to do is switch this attack and jump to the appropriate buttons, because otherwise you're going to have a, a bad time. So from a technical point of view, this isn't a really great game. Um, it's very bare bones, but it's also a very easy speedrun. Because basically all you have to do is hold right and kill the enemies. And the biggest concern for this game is only clearing the screen of enemies when you need to. So, whoops, never worry about uh, about enemies coming from behind. If you don't have to kill them, don't kill them. Uh, it's just a waste of time. But sometimes you do want to, like, kill certain enemies to make it a little less laggy. But yeah, this is a very, very simple beat-em-up. You only have... you have three attacks, but you only use two. Your normal strike and your jump kick. Jump kick will do two damage. But all enemies in the game, except for one enemy and bosses, of course, only have one hit point, so there's no real point in in uh, in using your kick unless you have to. We will be using the kick for the bosses, however, because it deals a lot more damage to them and makes the fight go way faster. As you can see, I'm just ignoring these enemies until I have to kill them. They move like one pixel faster than you or something like that, so... Except for these guys. But yeah, don't turn around unless you have to. Or if you have to strike somebody in front of you and you can turn around at the same time. Perfect. Yes, all of these stages, well, uh, not all of the stages, it's only the first few that have a hidden bonus level, actually. Uh, they're completely useless, of course, for a speedrun. But it's fun to look for them. Uh, 
Again, is this a great Turtles game? Nah, but it's it's fun. It's all right, and it has great music. Plus, remember that it also will be part of the uh, Kawabunga collection. So, better start learning it already, so you can beat it again. First boss, as I said, you use the kick, because then you do more damage. <clears throat> yeah, it's not a masterpiece, but it's just, it does what it needs to do. And that's all you need from a Turtles game as a kid. As an adult, you look back at it and you're like, wow, okay, that's not, not the most uh, most advanced thing I've ever seen in my life. But... but yeah, all three Game Boy games will be part of the, well, the Kawabunga collection, which I'm very happy that they did that. And I would love to uh, get that limited edition version, but it's so expensive. I'm a huge Turtles fan. <laughs> so having that Kevin Eastman stuff with it is like, oh, I want it so bad. That's a pizza. I'm just gonna take that for safety precautions, even though I don't need it. So yeah, this game is not as fast as the previous four games I've played. But it's a good fit to uh, probably end my block with, so... I don't own any of the original issues because I am not American and they didn't come out here, of course, like that, but I, I do have quote-unquote all issues of Eastman of Laird's Volume 1, uh, Volume 2, Volume 3, um, and like a few stories of volume four, I don't know. Uh, and the new, the first set of re-released IDW uh, comics, the first 13 or something. You can't see them on my shelf. Is it stuttering again? Oh no. Oh no. Again, let's hope we've uh, sorted out all the internet issues before the next run. Because this was just a filler block. Anyway, so I'm not mad about it or anything. <laughs> Yeah, the Game Boy uses uh, a very, very strong Wi-Fi signal and it's sucking out the internet of, out of everything, apparently. Sucking out the internet of our RMTP server. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, we're on stage three. Which you can kind of see. Ah, I fell. We're not doing much different than in the other stages. We're just moving right. Trying to not get hit, which I'm doing a piss poor job of, apparently. 
Jesus, wow, okay. Please don't die, because I think you have to replay this entire stage if you will. I'm not sure if there's a checkpoint in this one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not on my end, it's on uh, it's on our restreaming PC that something is going wrong. But meanwhile we took care of Baxter. And that's the end of stage three. On to stage four. I'm gonna switch to Mikey just because I can and this isn't like a real speed run anyways. So we're not just only playing as Leo. There's no difference between the turtles anyways. Uh, it's just because it's faster to menu by picking Leo immediately. <laughs> That's all right, Kong. Stuff like this happens, and luckily it's during a filler block, so... Who here actually watched the... This, the Game Boy speedrun block last night? I sadly was in bed. And I couldn't stay up because I had a meeting in the morning I had to get up for. But I'm looking forward to... To re-watching. <laughs> true that, true that. But yeah, not, not in this game at least. They don't have a different range or damage output or speed or anything like that. They're all just sprite swapped. And even then it's only the weapon sprite swap because they all look exactly the same in this game. Weirdly enough, the turtle sprite is the one they put the least effort into out of all the enemies in this game. Still on stage 4, part 2, where we're in a cave leading to the Technodrome, of course. <laughs> Chat going crazy by the turtles. I, are, uh, I also read that they have the original voice cast of... Well, the voice cast of the original cartoon for uh, Shredder's Revenge. That's pretty darn cool. Here's Shredder. He's the worst boss in the game. Because his iframes are weird and he does 2 damage. But we just kick him in the face like any other... ...boss in this game. <clears throat> Unlike most arcade games, Shredder is not the final boss. Is Shredder the final boss in the first NES game? That's the one I'm the least familiar with. Let's play with Dom because to finish the game off, because we all know that Dom is actually the best turtle, come on. I could have just went. So this stage features the only enemy that takes two hits, which are the Roadkill Rodneys. So you just use the jump to kill them in one hit. Indeed, so Donatello has to do the Technodrome.
Whoops. Alright, on to the final part of the game. This is like a 15 minute run, the first time you're gonna do this. Uh, think the record might be a little under 14 minutes. Think I have a 14 minute time. But yeah, it's, it's very simple. Again, you don't have to like learn some amazing frame perfect tricks or techniques that you have to pull off to make some progress in a speedrun. It's very simple, you just have to learn when and when not to kill enemies in this game. Seems the internet is working again for the end of this. Ow! <clears throat> Whoops, I didn't kick him. Oh, 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 oh! What's happening? Venus? Venus is back! Here's Krang. Krang is easy. There goes Krang. Kirby, the original fifth turtle. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's turtles. Follow the foot clam. Hey, I waited for like five minutes for the internet to catch up, which it didn't. Uh, but we've beaten five games. Now, in like 55 minutes, minus 10, so 45 minutes. So that just shows you that uh, how simple some of these games can be if you're looking for like, uh, like fun speed runs to do that are easy to learn. Like what I usually do is when there's a 12 hour challenge, um, instead of going with a team, I just look at some Game Boy games and I learn them. I usually do like six in a day. Uh, you play them once, you kind of understand it. You look at the at the uh, <clears throat> at the thingies, <laughs> at the speedrun itself, and and you copy it. So these were a few of them that you can try out yourself. Um, if you want to see more of them, check out check out my speedrun.com profile. I guess there's a few more on there. Uh, that are usually very easy to learn, at least. Um, and otherwise, you can always join the Game Boy Discord, Game Boy Speedrun Discord, on uh, on gbrunners.com. There should be a link there to get into uh, into the Discord. Um, I'm not sure what the enemy's plans are for now, but Tiny Ten Remix should be coming up soon again as well, which is a 10 uh, Game Boy Speedrun marathon race that you could join. Uh, it's games from the previous Tiny Tens. I don't, I'm, have no idea which ones will be picked, but that's also a good idea to get in. Uh, to get into Game Boy speedrunning, uh, and otherwise you'll easily find some games on your own. But yeah, these were short and easy ones to learn. Um, these doesn't mean they're great games. The great games usually are longer and a little bit more difficult to learn in a short amount of time, but definitely go, uh, go take a look at those. Um, I guess we're just waiting for Adam Ferrari at this point, right, Kong? Or are, are they actually here? The end? We don't know if it's the end. But yeah, let me know if I can just play something while we wait or not, I don't know. 
I'm here, so. No problem for me. <laughs> I can do one more game. I don't think I have a five minute game though. Uh, but I can show off Kid Nikki maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, uh, it's a 10 minute game, but I've, it's been way too long since I played that game. Venus not only existed, but Venus is back in the new Turtles comics, so. Uh, so she, she's back. <laughs> Anyways, this is Ganso Yanchamaru, also known as Kit Niki for Game Boy. Another Irem game, surprise, surprise. Yep, they just make good speedrun games on Game Boy. <laughs> Again, this, it's been years since I've done the speedrun of this, so I'm probably gonna die. Kirby is not back now. You do have... I keep forgetting her name. Something with a J. Janinka, I believe, is another turtle. Oh, I got the bonus round. Kinda wanna, <laughs> wanna not touch that. J no, Janinka. J e n i n k a. It's the yellow turtle. But yeah, this is Kit Nigi. It's it's a super simple platformer. Uh, you do only take one hit before you die, but uh, it's super short. And it has a nice flow to it. Uh, most of these stages you literally can do by just holding right and going. Oh! Nah, I was looking at the chat actually. Oh, so oh it spawned me right there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. A lot of these stages also have an invincibility scroll hidden in them that you can use. It's like... It's a very easy game. Oh, Except when you're doing this. Like I said, it's been so long since I've played it. My suggestion is get used to the levels, but they're all like 20 to 30 seconds long. Is it Janika? That could be it as well. It's only 12 stages long, this game. Uh, I'm not, I'm doing poorly, but. I thought it was a scroll, maybe, but it isn't. That didn't work the way I wanted it to, right? Isn't there a scroll here? It's not. Everything is going wrong right now. I think I game over it even. Yeah. Think there's three continues? Hopefully. Five continues even. Ah, oh, but do you start on one one? No, you do not. Okay. Whew. I'm trying to do it fast, like it would have flow. Oh come on. <laughs> But it's 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 not working out for me. I should just play it safe instead of trying to show off here. It's been way too long since I played this game. First boss, and first boss is gone. These bonus stages, which you are trying to avoid, but you always get one at the end of a boss fight. Um, if you just start pressing um, the attack button, you will always get one extra life. Always. There's like no way you cannot get one. 
Yeah, this is a fun game. A lot of these games that I'm showing off are Japanese only, uh, and that's why most people don't know them. Uh, but there's some really good gems when it comes to Game Boy games and Game Boy Speedrun games. Uh, oh, okay, okay. No bonus for me. But yeah, make sure if you look for it, it's Ganso Yanchamaru and not Kitniki. But we just call it Kitniki, because it is Kitniki. Uh, is there a scroll here? I don't even remember where the scrolls are, which is a problem. Whoa! Input got eaten there. Uh, hello? Okay, thank you. Oh, can't show them there. <laughs> that was all on me. That is not a hard so a jump at all. <laughs> Here's a scroll at the end of the stage. <laughs> that is lot last. Ugh, I again, what's wrong with my talking? This lasts a long time. I know there are holes in these. Ah, okay. That got scary. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> this is what you get when you don't play the games for a long time. Oh, I don't want the bonus. Let's see, can I jump over it? Yes. There we go. That's what I want. I forgot what this boss is. I disagree, but alright. That just happens with that boss sometimes. There's not much you can do about it, sadly. <laughs> You can't keep the scroll during the boss fight. Game! I know I've mentioned that I haven't played this game for a long time, but that doesn't mean the game has to make me look like an complete fool at it later. Alright, cooperate this time, please. This is most certainly live. There we go. Got him. Even missed a jump for the scroll, that's... Free one up. On to the cave. I thought there was a scroll in there. I feel like there should have been a scroll in there. 
I'm pretty sure there's a squirrel over there. Get out of here. <gasps> and buttons getting eaten. All right. This is this is going perfectly fine. This is going per. I swear this is going. No. Okay. This is not going perfectly fine at all. This is going perfectly fine. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Well, that's our second game over. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much just talking to myself, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> forgot how to time this thing. Uh, this is Kit Niki for Game Boy, but the actual name of it is uh, Ganso Yanchamaru. See, I knew there was a scroll here. We just call it Kid Nuki. Metroid 2, yes. That speedrun, I don't know. I only know the first 10 minutes of it. Which is something. They spawned me beyond where I died, which I'm fine with, but then I kind of hit that spike. Which shouldn't have happened. getting there, we're getting there. I'm just... Oh, well, now I wanted it for an extra life, but I guess I missed it. Guess I missed it. This is all on me, by the way. Oh no, don't tell me I got the... Okay, I didn't. There's a possibility that it, that one particular jump doesn't work. Like, actually doesn't work. Uh, I don't know why. And then you're just soft-locked in this stage, basically. It doesn't happen that often, though. Boss number three. Slowest boss of the game because you can only hit him once before he goes back up. There we go. On to the final world. If I actually need to stop Kong, let me know. I'm keeping an eye on the Discord. Whoops. See, I pressed it a little bit too late, so no extra life for me. Because I was looking at the... 
Not Discord. Mm. Ah, okay. Go, you jump. Stop looking at all these chats that I'm, I have on my screen because that ain't helping. I guess I might. I guess I might as well just finish this game off because it's only three more stages, huh? Oh no, what's happening? My sounds! I swear at one point I was actually good at this game. Oh my fu- <laughs> Nope. 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 <laughs> the issue is I'm distracting myself by doing it. I want those extra lives now. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these early Game Boy games use aesthetics from Super Mario Land for sure. Uh, is there a scroll here? I feel like there's a scroll here. I think the scroll is here, actually. Yeah, there it is. Oof, just in time. That's all right. On to the final stage. Shet can already start predicting if we are gonna save the princess or not. Uh, it's all RNG. Never know what you're gonna get. But will we save her or not? Uh, Platform? Why did you do that to me? That's not really fair. I'm stuck. No! Oh my god. <laughs> I am so sorry for this. No! Stop it! Game, stop it. Stop it. Come on. That's my last life. Final boss. Uh, my opinion on that is I don't like pizza. So... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we save the princess or not. That was Kid Niki for Game Boy. What will happen? And nope, she died. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of allergic to tomatoes, so pizzas are are not for me at all. <laughs> I 
So there you go. We've played through six games. This last one was an absolute train wreck, for sure. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close off this block. If you saw any game that was interesting to try out, please do so. Yeah, I, I know, but I, I just, I mean, most of the time it's made with, with tomatoes anyway, so I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of pizza. I can eat it, but I rather eat something else. No. So yeah, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh, coming up next is Adam Ferrari with the one hour Mari, Ma one Mari, I don't have it open right now. Something with Mario. It was the one one Mari hour. Mari hour? Oh no, it's enemy actually coming up next. It seems that we had a slight uh, shift. Okay, so apparently enemies coming up with blazing lasers. Uh, so hope you enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for having me, everybody. Oh wait, uh, well I'm I'm still waiting here, but. Uh, Maybe we'll just take a, a longer break in between. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be coming back to chat for another hour and then I have to go for today, sadly. Uh, but yeah, have fun with the rest of the marathon. Khan, you can cut me out at any time. <laughs>